making a pinch pot, really a bowl. This is just part one, getting started. First, you're going to need, we've gone over this, so that's why I've sped up the video. Notice how I keep moving it to dry areas on my mat. You're probably gonna get clay stuck on your mat, use that scraper. Then, we wedge. That's tap, tap, turn, tap, tap, turn, tap, tap, turn. Your goal is to create a cube, not a rectangular prism. No skimping on this one. You have to keep wedging until it's a really good cube with no dimples and no areas with lines in them. Now, when we finish the cube, you're gonna have all these edges. Your job is to turn this into a sphere. We're gonna start that process by rounding those corners. I'm gently going to press along each corner and round it. Don't undo your wedging work, right? Now, I really wanna turn it into a sphere. I think of making snowballs, or if you're a cook, making meatballs. So I have my hands kind of cupped, and I cup them and turn and cup them and turn. Some people wanna to try to put it down on the table and roll it. You can do that. However, be careful. We want a sphere, not a top. Again, I find it easier to cup and roll, cup and roll. When you're done, we need a good sphere. I'm liking that one. Next, I gotta turn this into a very tiny bowl. And so I'm gonna take my thumb, find the center, and press inward. There, I have a small, small bowl, maybe enough for one M&M. I did not press all the way through though. Double check that your hole is centered, that it's even all the way around. That's gonna be a constant with us. As long as that hole is centered, we're moving forward. It's called a pinch pot, it's time to pinch. It's going to be a gentle pinch and we're gonna to start towards the bottom, towards the foot. It's gentle. This is going to take multiple pinching. So don't try to squeeze really hard the first time around. It's a pinch turn, a pinch turn. Notice as you pinch, there might be little lumps created. And so when you pinch the second time, you're gonna to try to get those evened out. Again, it's very gentle. I like to think as if I was kind of holding maybe a ladybug in between my fingers. It wouldn't even barely know that I'm there holding it. As we pinch and turn, we will move upwards on our bowl. This is the body. So I started at the foot. I'm moving upwards on the body. You'll also notice that as you pinch, the bowl gets wider and we use more fingers, right? So the wider the bowl gets, the more of your hand you're going to have to use. You need to consistently check the thickness of your bowl. You're using your fingers as a measuring tool. So when your fingers are on the clay, you are judging, is this the same thickness at the top as it is towards the middle, the body, and towards the foot? And you will slowly pinch and turn, adjust your pressure to get that thickness even. When you start to notice small cracks in your clay, especially on the lip, you need to address those. And that's just a gentle smoothing with your finger. Right? We don't want those cracks to get bigger. So you might have to smooth it with your finger. You might have to do a gentle pinching. As you look at your pinch pot, you might be thinking, it's pretty good, right? Oh, wait a minute. What's happening here? It's awfully round. It won't hold itself up. We need to fix that foot. Set your bowl on the table and gently press downward. Not so hard that your hand is going to go through the clay, but just enough to flatten it and make a nice bottom of our bowl. Once we do that though, you also again need to pick up your bowl, check the thickness, check to make sure your bowl hasn't gotten off centered. Our fingers are our measuring tools, but sometimes they get a little out of control. Do not let yourself pinch too hard, look at that. We don't want a lip or any part of our body that is that skinny. It needs to be consistent in thickness. Our ultimate goal, is a bowl that's about a quarter inch thick in thickness all the way around and very smooth with a very strong lip. This is the end of part one for this video. It's time for you to get started. This pinch pot is about halfway done so you have an idea of, of where you're headed to. Part two will continue on with the craftsmanship. It's not done yet.